Welcome back. So many use dance as a way to express themselves in ways that words just can't describe. But for a portion of the dance community, their dance apparel never truly matched their skin tone. This personal issue sparked these sisters to create change. Nia and Justice join us now. Girls, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Of course. So what motivated you both to launch Revolutionaire? Yes, well, it really was inspired by my own journey, growing up as a black ballerina and never having access to dance where that matched my skin tone. So I'd go shopping with my friends and they'd be able to get their tights and leotards and shoes and go right to the studio and put them on. Whereas I'd have to go home and dial my apparel first because there's nothing for dancers of color. Wow. So I originally launched Revolutionaire as a dance for brand catering to dancers of color. And then last year, Justice actually came to me and said, what if we gave a platform for more people to have access to the network, tools, and information that they need to make their dreams a reality? Really inspired by how I was able to make my dream a reality through launching Revolutionaire. And so in, on June 2nd, we launched Revolutionaire, the social network for change makers, to give that to other young people. That's honestly so inspiring. So who's older, Nia or Justice? I'm older. <laughs> okay, great. So you guys were able to kind of work together, collaborate, and make this happen. So obviously you guys are sisters. Tell me a little bit about your backgrounds. Yeah, so I graduated from college in 2018 and fell into a very traditional corporate world as a management consultant and got a breadth of experiences in that role. And Mia, of course, is a professionally trained ballerina and has been dancing for well over a decade. And ultimately thinking about all that was caused last summer in terms of young people making their voices heard like never before and this really critical moment in history as it relates to social causes and social movements i decided to leave my job to go full time in revolutionaire and really i think that in working with my sister it's been incredible to have both the creative and the business side and the strategy side come together to think about how could we contribute our own approach here when solving this problem alongside of course our broader team of 30 incredible young actors and community leaders from across North America. I love that you guys not only recognize that there was a need for change, but you decided to become that change. So tell me about what the platform covers. I know they cover numerous social reform initiatives, but what are some of the causes that users, that users can support on this platform? Yes, absolutely. Well, we have five main causes on the platform right now with more coming soon, but gun reform, criminal justice reform, environmentalism, housing and food security, and racial equity are pillar causes. And members can come on, learn about these causes through our content library that has accessible content and in, in information, and then also take action through our embedded action tools so that you can contact your representatives directly through the platform, through one-click emails and calls, sign petitions, find volunteer opportunities, start donation drives, and more on the platform, and then also connect like-minded people who are also interested in those causes. My goodness, I'm just so in awe of everything that you guys have been able to do at such a young age. I've, you know, done my own research with you guys and looking at your Instagram pages, and I see that you guys are very involved. It's not just, you know, um, it's not just a trend with you guys. You're actually doing something about it. You're speaking about it. So talking about that, with Juneteenth, Juneteenth being celebrated over the weekend, what are some ways that the community can make an impactful change on their own? Absolutely. This is so important. Definitely thinking about Juneteenth, but also thinking about what change looks like on a regular basis, right? So being able to perhaps contribute a monthly donation, no matter how small, to various community organizations. And you can find a full list of vetted fundraisers and organizations on Revolutionaire that you can make that donation to. On Juneteenth, we, for example, featured quite a few in Texas, owing back to Juneteenth's origins in Galveston, Texas, as well thinking about what are specific causes perhaps that are impacting the community and how can you advocate for these causes, be it the Justice and Policing Act um, or the Reparations Bill or the For the People Act, et cetera. These are really monumental pieces of legislation right now that are before the Senate. And by taking the time to call your representatives, whether it's through a one-click call button and following the script and being able to speak out and share your opinions and make sure that your, legislat your legislative representatives understand that these are issues that you care about, it's another way to take action. As well as, of course, finding volunteer opportunities, working to amplify the voices of community leaders and 
of course, in celebration of GMT, particularly black community leaders, but there's a whole host of ways individuals can take action. Yes. And we made it really simple and streamlined on Revolutionaire. I would definitely encourage viewers to check out Revolutionaire for ways to take action, both on a daily basis and through more sustained engagement opportunities. Well, thank you girls so much for being here today. And I know we've got lots of information for you guys available on your Instagram. So we'll make sure that everybody has access to that. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much. much.